I am always excited about new technology. This time we have a Solium solar powered camera. That's right, the sun. 365 days of worry-free recording, the box says. Self-sustaining solar panel with built-in battery. Let's look at these features. Non-stop solar power. IP66 weatherproof, don't worry about that rain. Two-way audio. I can hear you, you can hear me. Let's pop the top and see what's inside. So of course, we have instructions and a USB cable hiding there. Let's go a little further. Inside the box, this is the camera. It's a pretty compact design. The wing, of course, is the solar panel. Turning it towards the front, we see a nice black face. The camera itself is here. We have one, two, three, four lights. The bottom is the motion sensor. The large wing itself is the solar panel for collecting the sun rays. On the back, we have the Wi-Fi antenna connection, which is very important. On the side, we see some Solium branding and the bottom is the port for your connections. Also inside the box, we have a mounting bracket, which you can use on masonry, wood, whatever you need to use. Here's the screws. Look, my nothing else. <laughs> All right, here's the camera. This mounting bracket is pretty simple to use. You turn in order to loosen up the top so that you can have some swivel, so you can aim the camera wherever you wanna aim it, tighten it back up when you get it positioned where you want. There's another screw at the top in order to place the camera in. You screw the camera in, and uh, once you do that, of course, then you can angle it anywhere that you choose. Don't forget to lock it up or else it's just gonna keep falling down. It's never going to stay up and stay straight. All right, next, let's put on the antenna. just so you can get a look at how that works, how you do it and how it looks. Pretty neat. Next, under the rubber of the ports. So let's put an SD card in. Also, you will notice there's a USB connection. On the top of that, there's a power switch and also a reset switch. All right, let's go to the app. Let's see if we can find it. So on the app, you'll notice I already have a Solium camera because I also have an S600. But let's pair this one up. Power on your camera and check that the blue indicator LED is blinking. All right. So power buttons here. You flick that on. Let's see if we get the blue lights. And there it is flashing blue. So once you have that flashing blue indicator, then you know that you can use your Wi-Fi in order to set up this device. Enter the camera name and address. Using default name and address can go to the next step directly. So this is where you identify your camera, right? You put your name in of where it's at. It could be a driveway. It could be your front door. It could be the garage. Enter the Wi-Fi password. Please do not connect with the 5G. Use your camera to scan the QR code. Maintain a distance of about 4 inches until you hear the confirmation. At this point on your phone, you'll see a QR code. It's just as simple as pointing it towards the camera. And this is real time. It actually happened that fast. Camera's paired. So now you see I have two cameras, but let's test out the one I just added. Let's see if we get anything. Ooh, I see some beautiful Wu-Tang cups. It worked. <laughs> it's a little blurry because I think I have the cups too close. Just as a tip, go into your settings. If you have a memory card, format that memory card. That'll allow you to have local storage of your videos. Of course, the cloud video allows videos to be stored somewhere else. If someone steals your device or something like that happens, it'll always be in the cloud. They won't have your card as well. So this is what it looks like on the live side. We see that it works. I'm seeing the video inside of the app. I'm seeing both cameras and it has refreshed to the Wu-Tang. Another quick tip that I want to give you is to make sure that you go into your permission settings in your phone 
and you give Solium the permissions that you need it to give or else you will not get notifications. It will also affect the microphone and other things if you want to do the two-way. So you go in, you look at the list, you make sure that everything you want to have it do is checked. And that's pretty much it. Next thing you have to do is make sure you have it powered. So in order to make sure that that happens correctly, charge us for at least 10 hours before you take it outside and mount it. Speaking of mounting it, also make sure that you put the rubber back onto the ports or else rain can get in. And I think with that, we're ready. We can mount this after charging it for 10 hours. Make sure again that you have the rubber on. Now the next step is to go outside and find a place that you find suitable where you'll catch what you need to catch and see what you need to see. For myself, I have a long stretch at the side of my house where it gets really dark at night because there isn't an overhead light. So I figure having a camera and a light is a two in one that'll work great in this area. In fact, I think I'm gonna mount it at the top of the house right there in the corner next to the gutter. Installation is helped by having a nice template. You take the holes out of the template, you put it on the area that you wish to drill holes. This will guide you to help you. Anyone who needs any kind of work done, you can always call me. As you can see, I am super fast, super efficient. Who else do you know that can work at these speeds? Look, look at this. It's gonna get dark uh, in the video a little bit because I did this at sundown. So you're gonna see the video get a little dark, but look, it's up that quick and mounted. Once I had it on and positioned, I took a quick screenshot with my phone just to see what it looks like. And image doesn't look too bad. Speaking of image, let's open the app up and see if we can see some recordings. So when you open it up at the bottom, I have some cloud storage here. And if I click it, it should show me it. And yes, it does. So there's my neighbor walking to the garbage. Nothing interesting, but I can still see the side of my house and I can protect their house a little bit at this angle. Let's click on another clip. Just for a quick comparison, I'm bringing up my other camera, which is the Solium S600. This is what it looks like. I'm walking to the back. And the 600 might even be a little bit sharper than the S100. That's what it seems to be. I'm looking at a couple of clips here. You be the judge. Leave some comments below. And if you're wondering what the S600 looks like, this is the S600. It has a larger solar panel, and it also has the advantage of being a PTZ camera, so you can actually move the head around left and right, up and down for things you want to see. In comparison, this is the Solium S100 mounted and it looks pretty good. Keep in mind, you cannot move it once it's mounted. It stays in one position. You can always go up and manually move it if you want. So there you have it, the Solium S100. You also saw a little bit of the S600 in this review. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please click like and also do not forget to subscribe. Until I see you again, peace and love, my brothers and sisters. Clever noise, yeah.